Hello my enchanting creatives. Today we're going to be doing this magical elixir of life vial that you can also use as a necklace. Now if you want to be immortal, you have to drink this regularly. Just kidding, this is just for play. Stay with me, follow along, and let's do this project together. These are the materials that we're going to be using. Now, these are some glass mini vials or mini glass containers that I found at the dollar store. They're super cute. It comes in a pack of, I can't remember if it's like six vials, but anyways, they're just like adorable and they're super inexpensive. And um, they're, you, you might be able to even find like a bigger kind, but this smaller kind is super cute for using it as a necklace. So um, this is just one example of another one I did. And we're gonna give this a try again with uh, some other materials uh, that I'm testing out and just trying to figure out what would be, what would work best, you know, for keeping the glitter suspended. I used some of this hair gel, also from the dollar store, this glow in the, the dark powder from Epodex in the blue color, and the heaven glam powder from enchantingfineart.com. This powder looks blue, but it has a beautiful golden color shift, and we're also using some isopropyl alcohol. We're also using a little bit of this E6000 glue and some of my blue glow-in-the-dark powder from EnchantingFineArt.com. Now, I added some of that powder kind of like at the last minute to modify my formula because the Epodex one was not very bright um, when, you know, the lights were turned off. The only reason I used the Epodex uh, glow powder was because that powder is blue. So I wanted this elixir to look blue when it, the lights were not turned off. And the one at enchantingfineart.com is not blue. It's more of a whitish powder, but it does look a lot brighter when the lights are turned off. So let's start doing our cute little elixir potion. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix some of this uh, hair gel into a cup and then I'm going to add a little bit of the powder, of the glow powder. So in this case, I'm using the Epodex one to give it that blue color. Um, and then I'm going to also add some of the blue glow powder from enchantingfineart.com. So I'm mixing both of them. Um, one is to give it more of the, of the brighter glow when the lights are turned off. And the Epodex one is to give it that blue color without covering the glow in the dark properties. So all you're gonna do is just mix the powders into your hair gel and then we're gonna go ahead and add some of the glam powder to give it a little bit of sparkle. Add as much or as little as you want. I started adding, you know, a few pinches and just, you know, adjusting it depending on how sparkly I wanted my elixir to look like. So just add, you know, a little pinch or a little bit more, mix it in and you can always add more once you put it in your vial and you look at it and you know, you might decide that you want a little bit more sparkle so you can just go ahead and add some more at the end. So it's up to you how much you want to add. Now you're going to add a little bit of alcohol, just a tiny bit, cause I actually added a ton more than I needed. Um, so just add a very, very tiny amount because all you want to do is make your hair gel a little bit more fluid so that it's easier for you to pour it into the vial. But if you add too much alcohol, the glitter or the powder is not going to stay suspended in the solution. So it's just going to go, you know, it's just going to settle at the bottom of the vial really quickly. I want this to look more sparkly, so I'm adding more of that glam powder.
added the glue off of camera so you're not gonna see that here in this video but it's super easy all you do is clean the inside of the rim of the bottle with a paper towel a dry paper towel and then you add a little bit of the e6000 glue on the cork and just put that right inside of the bottle and just leave it there uh, you know for a few hours until it dries completely and your bottle will be nice and sealed and ready to go another thing that i forgot to record and therefore is not going to show in this video is how i put that small screw eye pin hook onto the cork but it's very very easy all you do is just screw it on that's it so now let me show you how this beautiful elixir vial looks from you know from different angles and when the light is turned off and it's just amazing and beautiful Keep in mind that the glow powder and the glam powder are going to settle to the bottom of your, your vial if the bottle is not being shaken. But don't worry, all you have to do to bring its magic back is just to shake it a little and there you have it. The more you shake it, the more that those powders and glitters are going to integrate again into the liquid mix and your elixir will look like new. Once you have that pin hook screwed onto the cork, you can add a chain by first adding a ring and then adding your chain onto that ring. I hope you liked this video. This was a super fun and quick and cute project and my daughter absolutely loved these necklaces. So I hope you get to do one for yourself, for your kids, grandkids, friends, whoever is a lover of everything that is enchanting and sparkly. Go and create some magic!